Welcome back everybody. So it's about that time of year that I need to think about getting ready so that I can burn wood to heat our house. So we don't necessarily have to burn wood to, uh, to heat our house. Um, we primarily heat with a heat pump and that will heat our house all the way down to like around freezing. When it gets colder than that it kind of loses its efficiency and won't heat your house. And we have a propane uh, furnace which is a backup and it'll heat the house that way so I don't have to burn with wood the reason I burn with wood is to save money so I don't have to buy propane so we heat our house with a wood burning fireplace now it's not a traditional fireplace it is a it's like a, a fireplace insert and it kind of, it's basically a wood stove and it fits in the wall and then you put stone and everything around it and cover it up and it kind of looks like a fireplace but it has a door on the front of it just like a wood stove it has a blower that circulates air just like a, a wood stove would in fact you can actually uh, you could hook duct work to it and you could duct it to other rooms and put them on thermostats and, and zone it and heat other rooms with it so it's definitely made to be able to heat your home and uh, our fireplace will definitely heat the uh, the first floor no problem it's about a 77 I think thousand BTU fireplace and so today we're going to get the fireplace ready uh, we're going to sweep the chimney we're going to uh, cut some kindling get a bunch of kindling made up and cut some firewood and bring firewood up to the house so that we're all ready to burn wood on the next night that it gets cold so Rebecca is sleeping right now uh, so she worked last night and actually it was the time change last night so uh, uh, we uh, the time fell back an hour last night so I actually got like an extra hour of sleep and feel really rested and uh, she ended up having to work a 13 hour shift and she worked an extra hour last night so uh, so she's sleeping today so I'll wait and do the chimney and the fireplace we'll get that all cleaned up after she wakes up but I'm gonna start splitting wood that's the first thing I'm gonna do so this is a pile of wood left over from last year and all this pile right here I split by hand I didn't have a log splitter when I did all this wood and there's big chunks here that all have big knots in them and stuff that I, I pretty much couldn't split with an axe. So I'm going to go ahead and drag the log splitter over here now and it'll be a lot easier. We're going to get all this um, split right here and stacked up. This will be the first wood that we burn this year because it's the oldest. So that there is at least a um, year, year and a half old, that wood there. So let's get splitting.
So that ended up taking me about an hour to get all that old wood split up. So since I only split that today, um, it was in one big piece. So it ain't gonna dry very good in the middle, you know? Um, so this piece right here, I know you're not probably gonna be able to see that, but it's reading about 20.2% moisture. So it's not the driest piece of wood. So the stuff over there stacked up and the smaller pieces, those smaller pieces are gonna dry better. And uh, so I just took this piece of wood here that's been drying for a year. I just split it open a second ago. So I'm gonna test here in the middle on this fresh cut. And I've got 12.6% um, moisture. So this stuff that's been split and drying, drying in a split condition, you know, that is just, it's just way better wood to burn. So that just kind of shows me that I need to get all this wood out here split up so it can continue to dry and get, uh, get all that moisture out of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and find some straight grain pieces, hopefully none with any knots, see if we can cut those into kindling. And fall down. So now I'm going to go ahead and get the fireplace cleaned up and after that we'll sweep the chimney. So actually we still have ash in the fireplace from last year. So we're going to vacuum this out with a vacuum. Um, and then we've got to take out the baffle out of the top so that we can see up to the chimney and then we can sweep it out. Now I've had people ask me before, um, why don't I just sweep the chimney from in here and put the sweep up this direction. Um, inside of the wall, you can't see it, there's two 90 degree elbows. So there's a 90 degree that goes backwards and then there's one that goes right back up. And that, that chimney brush will not go through that S, those two 90 degrees. So I have to sweep the chimney um, from up there. And then I, those two elbows, I can see those from here and I just have to clean those two elbows uh, down here with like a brush. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up.
So now that we've got the, uh, the fireplace, it's all clean, I'm going to climb to the top of that ladder and sweep the chimney. So I've got an 8 inch round chimney brush and uh, that's what I'll be using today. So after I get this uh, you know, swept a few times, we'll see how much, because um, all of that stuff's going to fall down the chimney pipe, it's going to collect inside of the fireplace. And then we'll just see how much uh, creosote and ash and everything we end up getting from the chimney. Well, I think we have everything ready so we can start heating the house with wood. Um, it was a really nice day today and it's like 68 degrees in the house right now. Um, so I don't really see us burning wood tonight. We'll probably wait a few days till the temperature drops back down a little bit colder and then we'll finally start burning wood. But the fireplace is all clean, the chimney's all clean, and all the fire bricks are in good shape. Uh, none of them are broken. We've moved, there's a couple things here on the mantle that probably you didn't want right next to a fire. So we've moved those things off. And when it finally gets cold, the way we, we heat with wood is we turn the thermostat down to about 64 degrees. And then we will heat with wood and it will run hot in here really. It will run actually probably around 70 to 72 degrees in here. It will probably be rather warm. And if the fire ends up going out like overnight, or if we leave during the middle of the day and we're both gone for a long time. If it gets down to 64 in here, of course, the regular uh, heating system, it'll kick on and it'll at least keep the house at, an, at a decent temperature. Well, this ended up being kind of a dirty job, so I think I'm ready to go ahead and get cleaned up and just relax the rest of the night. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.